Music was completely banned, any form of music. You'd probably be killed if, if the Taliban like, could hear the sound of music. In the late 1990s, before the war in Afghanistan, music was illegal in the country under Taliban rule. It wasn't frowned upon, it wasn't discouraged, it was illegal. You weren't allowed to clap your hands or sing to your baby. Doing so could get you arrested. But from that country emerged a young musical star, and he said he owes his ability to play directly to the U.S. military. And my name is Alham Fanous. Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. I was born in 1997 in Kabul, Afghanistan. I grew up there. It was very dangerous to play music between 1996 and 2001. Music was completely banned, any form of music. You'd probably be killed if, if the Taliban like, could hear the sound of music or harmonium, which my dad used to play, and of course he still does. Uh, it was very dangerous, yes. We kind of had to uh, practice and make music privately. With windows, doors closed, curtains down, so that no one could hear. We weren't really making a lot of noise. We were just practicing by ourselves and like trying to keep the sound uh, down. But then in 2001, things began to change. American forces came to the country and things opened up a little bit. Elham saw a video on YouTube of a man playing a piano. I really fell in love with this sound of the piano, even with the looks of it. And it, it has this prestige of being on the stage and, and I, I love that and I, I love the sound and I, I thought, to myself, I told to myself that this is an instrument that I really want to play and I want to express my feelings, my emotions, my, my life as a musician. I want to just stick with this instrument and play. And there was just one music school in the entire country and I went there. My dad brought me there, I took the entrance exam and there's only uh, about 25 pianos in the entire country and 15 of them are in my school. It's exceedingly rare for Afghans to play concert piano, but Elham had fallen in love with it. After getting noticed for his skill, he caught a break and was accepted into Hunter College in New York City. For me, I love classical music and I love Afghan music. The, the reason for, for, for that is that I can express my emotions deep inside because obviously some, there are some, some things that can't be put into, into words. So I, I feel like I, I can communicate and I've had experiences actually that people could feel it and which made me like really happy after a few performances that I've done so far in, in my career. But for years, Elham has tied his success to a specific entity, the U.S. military. In 2014, a music recital that he was on his way to attend was bombed, and the actions of American and local troops he saw that day planted a seed in his head. Since then, I was really wanted to kind of express through my music. I, I wanted to express my, my really gratitude to these people. And I never got the chance to really write it because also my English wasn't <laughs> good at all <laughs> by then, uh, but at that time. Uh, but I, I really had this, this idea in mind that someday I want to I wanna inspire them and I want to give them courage so that they don't feel that they, their, their work is like, not beneficial to anyone, like they sacrifice a lot of things. Once in New York, a friend of Elham's told him about the troubling statistics of veteran suicide and he decided to make good on his 2014 promise and write a letter to U.S. troops. I heard that they take their lives. Uh, because of what, because what, uh, because of what they witness and what they see, and and what they do, what they go through, and I was like, whoa! I wanted to write this. I wanted to write this letter, and I wanted to. Now, since I'm an American, now I can do this easily because I have some connections. Uh, I, 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 it really inspired me. I was, and, and when he told me about their, uh, his veteran friends, and I was like, okay, I'm going to write this down. I, I, I need to do this. Hopefully, I really hope to prove someday with my lifetime music services and playing, performing as a musician, that, that their work is not just, they don't do this for nothing, they, they definitely inspire. One of the main reasons that I got to play music, because they came, they, they saved us basically, and then I, we got to play music, we got to express ourselves. So, so they're one of the reasons that I, I made it here in the United States. And, and there are a lot of, just, not just me, there are a lot of other young generation in Afghanistan who do what they love, and they can do it because there's more security uh, because of them. I wanted to just write this and, and tell them how, how grateful I am that, that we have them and they, they saved our life and they saved many other lives and they keep doing that. So I really appreciate that. I, I really want them to know how, how lucky we are to have them. To show his appreciation the best way he knows how, Elham also wanted to play a song. 
Yeah, so I really want to uh, dedicate a, an Afghan folk song which I ar arranged uh, for piano. Uh, I, it's one of my favorite pieces. If I translate it literally in English, it says, My death may arrive one day. That's the, the song, how it starts, the first line. So I arranged that for piano, it's one of my favorite. I really feel connected with this piece and I want to dedicate this to youth veterans.